Three weeks, you stay your house on the market for three weeks, they have no showings. Do you have any recourse with your agent? The short answer is no. But what I would ask is, have they talked about any price reductions? Did you list it too high? Did your agent suggest that you listed at one price and you said, no, you want to do another price? Because sometimes, actually all the time, all right? It's amazing to me how many homeowners, they've never sold a house, all right? They haven't been in any houses, but they're 100% sure their house is nicer than everybody other, everybody else's house out there. So a lot of times they think they know the price better than you. And so they overprice the home and it sits. So that's one thing I do when I cover, when I go out there is let them know based on the activity showings and feedback is how we're going to know if we need to make an adjustment, how we missed it on price. There's three things that I think uh, you need to analyze the condition of the property. Okay. Is it in good shape? Do the pictures look good? Uh, and that also falls into marketing. So the condition marketing, which is exposure and price. So is it good condition? If that is, do the pictures look good? Is it put on most of the websites anymore for an agent? We put it on our MLS and it blasts it to every other real estate site there is out there. Okay, it's called syndication. And then price. Okay, if those other two things are, are good, uh, it's probably the price. Price is about 80% of it. Price overcomes all objections. All right, so if you're not getting any activity and all those other things are fine, well, then it's price. If they took the pictures with their camera or the pictures look like crap or the house is a mess, then that's maybe one thing you wanna declutter the home, have some professional photos taken and then reevaluate there. Also, the other thing that I would look at is in the area, in the neighborhood, is anything else moving? Sometimes you have a neighborhood where just nobody's interested in. I actually had one here in Amarillo where I had to go back a year only one house sold in that neighborhood in the last year. It's out in the country. All right. It was originally listed for 550,000 and they end up selling it for 350,000. Is the only house I could find that has even sold out there in the last year. Their neighbor, which was right next door, had a hugely cluttered house and he was set listed for 650. I told him I didn't think I'd be able to do that. That's unrealistic. Uh, I let him go list with somebody else. Um, so that's one thing too. Is there activity in that neighborhood? The way you overcome that, again, is price, all right? If you reduce it low enough, you have to attract people from maybe would rather live in another neighborhood, but for the right price, they'd live in that neighborhood. So those are some things to look at and check and communicate with your seller and understand your market and activity, what's going on.